We're looking at a 2004 Toyota Highlander for a uh, battery light on in the dash. Customer replaced their battery, uh, thinking that was the problem. Uh, light's still on, so we're going to take a look at this one. All right, so we got the engine running. Uh, looking at the uh, instrument cluster here. Uh, oh, he's got a TPM, TPMS light on there, but you can see the battery light over there to the left. Engine's running. If I bring the RPMs up, the light goes out. As soon as I get back to idle, it turns the light on. Right, so uh, we're looking at 11.46 volts there. That is a non-charging alternator. Uh, let me bring the RPMs up to get the light to come off and uh, see if maybe we get more voltage. not charging at all. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's do some super simple tests first. Do a voltage drop from the main lug. Actually, let's see if the main lug is getting voltage. So this is just going on the main lug of the alternator. So it's got voltage down there. Let's do a voltage drop to that from there up to the battery. So there's no voltage drop. We'll check a voltage drop on the ground to the battery or the alternator. Nope, no voltage drop there. That's good. So let me show you what I was doing when I did the voltage drops. So the ground voltage drop, we've got our lead on the battery on the battery negative. We're just going to charge. We're going to check the ground here, basically just the case of the alternator. You can see it there, just on the case. We're going to check and see our voltage drop is next next to nothing. Okay, we're going to put this over on. The positive and we'll put this lead under the positive here and we have next to nothing so those are our two main voltage drops so we've got good power to the main lug of the alternator. We've got a good circuit to the main alternator. And we've got a good ground to the alternator. Now we need to find out if we have a problem with the regulator connection. This is our schematic. So we have, uh, these are our three circuits on the regulator. This is the main lug here. So if we blow this up, Okay, so the white and blue uh, comes from a fuse, so it's fused power. The red comes from fused power, and the white with green is a feedback up to the engine control module. So we can check the white and blue and the red for power. So here is the red circuit.
and we have 11.18 volts there. Here's the white and blue circuit, and we have 11.24 volts there. So those are both getting fused power. Now remember, our fused power is getting low because our battery is getting low, so it's only showing 11 volts. It should still charge with that though. So it's telling the computer that it's only got 11 volts and the computer is not turning on the alternator, or the computer is trying to turn on the alternator, but it's not doing it. So we got a battery light on the dash that uh, goes out when you bring the RPMs up. Uh, the alternator never charges. The, uh, there's power to the main lug of the alternator. Uh, there's a, uh, the voltage drop uh, to the power side of the alternator is acceptable. The voltage drop to the negative side of the alternator is acceptable. The regulator has power showing on all three circuits of the, uh, for the regulator. Uh, there is a two fuse powers uh, which are present and there is a feedback to the alternator which is showing that it's uh, only 11.2 volts. Um, this alternator is not uh, computer controlled. It's, main, it's more of a, uh, uh, just a feedback to let the co uh, computer know that it's charging or not. That's how it turns the light on. Uh, this thing's gonna require an alternator. Um, I also noticed when uh, you turn the air conditioning on, the air conditioning is real noisy, so uh, we'll probably end up uh, talking to the customer about uh, taking care of both of those things.